Hey, 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 everybody. It's been a long time since we got on here and did a little live. I know you guys are used to the lives with Lucia and Glenn when we're live on that channel doing a taste this or a um, destination next, whatever have you. So today you guys are going to be a part of my ride. I just left my buddy, My Time Nail Studio over in Scranton and saw my buddy Lynn really quick for a couple of minutes. So now I am on my way back to Glendy Murphy CPA slash Audubon title and tag to continue the work day. We are going to get some lunch from Giovanna's Pizzeria and Restaurante in Scranton. They're located at Bernie Avenue in Scranton, right next door to um, Art Rage Studio and Harrington's Beer Distributor. For those of you who don't know who Giovanna's is, they are the sister company to Dante's up in Lakeville, where we live. They're about 20 minutes from where we live. And they have everything from hoagies to pizza to Italian dishes, but they have the best eggplant tower you will ever eat, you'll ever get for your money. We eat that religiously. I want to say we eat it like, but no. And yes, I just muted that word because I'm being good. I'm staying out of Facebook jail. Nobody can get me in trouble. So that's why my eyes are on the road and I'm not on you. So as I get the chance to look down at the comments, I will. So there is a lot of changes coming up at the almighty PennDOT um, that you guys aren't going to like. And I know one of them for a fact is the fees are going to go up again come July. I have a feeling that it's coming. Um, we are currently in consideration of a grant through the Scranton Recovery Wage and Boost Act. So hopefully that works out for us. And if it does, we are going to be doing some things. Driving through the city and I guess Verizon's towers are not cooperating with me. Anyhow, just driving by City Hall, going through downtown Scranton. It's nice to see some businesses down here like Abe's Deli, Tai Tai Scranton, Papa's Pizza, Da Vinci's Pizza, which happens to be my cousin. And there's our beautiful courthouse. I would love to be showing you guys right now, but I gotta focus on the road. Anyhow, so there's a lot of big. Oh, lovely. Another bank. Just what we need. So there's a lot of things coming. And like I said, when you only have the manpower of one person, it's very, very hard. Very hard. Um, our new billboard for Audubon Title and Tag is going up on Monday, February 20th. So if you're watching this video and you see the live, see what I mean? I have to watch the road. If you see the live and you hear this first, I'm going to leave it up afterwards. But if you see the live button, and you see the bulletin board on Davis Street. The first person to comment with the picture will get a prize. It starts on the 20th, but I'm not telling you what time. Also, the Garden Restaurant. You know, I think this has been here for a little while now, and I think this is a, a newer business. And I have not been there yet, but it's BYOB. So I think one of these days for our YouTube video, because we're so big into pushing the YouTube channel right now, shout out to my sister from another mister, Cynthia Parisi of Giovanni's, who's tuned in right now because she knows I'm I'm doing this because they know how much I love their pizza. Um, I think in our next YouTube video, because we actually had a request from our creator friends in Japan to stream through Scranton. So... We're still considering the challenge request. And, yes, I know. Don't go saying in the comments down below how much you hate Scranton because I don't hate Scranton. I'm proud of Scranton. I think we're going to do the 15 bullet points that Triple Loot um, put out there, courtesy of Autobahn Adventure Travel. And, uh, yeah. But 
Let me back up so, really quick. So Giovanni's Pizza, if you want to order, it's 570-354-2148. I've been waiting for Roy to fix my page access so that I can get in there and put everything up on the page. You can also order online. Their link to order online is on their page. So I apologize if I can't respond to everybody right now because I'm driving. But also, he's been very busy. Um, Roy also owns Dante's Pizza in Lakeville, which is a sister company, like I said to Cynthia's. Just passing my cousin Buona Pizza right now. Another good pizza shop in Scranton. And the marketplace at Steamtown, which... I'm going to hold off on my comments on that. Anyhow, um, so they also own Pawpack Diner, which is also up in Holly. Best Breakfast. If you go there between 7 and 3, you will get to meet Cynthia. She's very good at what she does. And also, they own Anna Capri in Hamlin. Anna Capri is very good also. They have excellent meals, too. So when you're up my way visiting... Make sure you stop by and check out those restaurants. So now we're passing Sharon's Place, which is another good restaurant. She's a little bit more on the smaller side, so when you go there, it's always going to be busy. Always going to be busy. So maybe someday she'll expand. Who knows? Um, I did find out some awesome news today. I thought I was going to have a new competitor in town, but I'm not. Buddy, where are you going? Jesus! Holy f mother of God! Get in your way! That was really unexpected. So when you're coming down South Washington Avenue, it's not two lanes. It's one lane. Where are you going, buddy? It's one lane! This guy behind me, which I wish Pennsylvania would have double license plates, is trying to pass me, and I, it, it's not necessary. So if he's trying to go to Voodoo Brewing Company, go around the corner. You're not going to get there any other way. Wow, man. But anyhow, so I thought I was getting a new competitor in town, and I'm not. So I'm very happy about that. I'm very, 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 very happy. Uh, my new competitor supposedly was coming into the um, Southside Shopping Center, and they're not now. So that's a good thing. But a lot of good places here, too, like Alfredo's. There used to be the Asian Buffet, but I don't even know what happened to them. You also got Dunkin' Donuts down here, which I don't understand why they have to have two locations. I kind of get you're breaking up traffic, but I kind of think it's kind of dumb, if you ask me. There's also a brand-new supermarket down here called Sea town which I haven't been in there yet, but people have told me they're a little bit on the expensive side, and I don't know why... People tend to compare to New York all the time when, as a title and tag agent, I'm seeing more and more and more um, people moving up here from New York and New Jersey because their DMVs are very expensive. Any DMV, from what I'm hearing, is expensive, except for us. I, I don't see our fees as being expensive. What I don't agree with, what the... We'll get to that in a minute. What I don't agree with is the fact that they're trying to limit us on how much we can charge. So I hope PennDOT is going to be giving us a monthly stipend on that. I'm glad they took away our connection fees and stuff, which is good, but that's that. Anyhow, I just saw a sign for CAP, C-A-T-H, cart rail over here by my mom's delicatessen. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, that might have something, I want to say it might have something to do with the new train station that's coming in. I heard that we're getting one from Pittston to Jim Thorpe. I could be wrong. Another good restaurant, Big Daddy's Lounge Kitchen. Um, but I don't know if that's true or not about the railroad, but I will find out. If you're a wing lover, you definitely want to check out Kelly's pub and eatery down here in Scranton. They've been here for a very long time. Their wings are very good. I haven't had them in a while, but they are good. There's a lot of other businesses around here that do a lot of different industries. So, as 
a long-term resident of Scranton, I can say I like the simplicity of the city because what you're looking for is right there. I don't think I could ever live in the bigger cities like New York, New Jersey, D.C., anything like that, only because of the traffic. For somebody who's traveled a lot to a lot of different states, the traffic is just insane. But we only have not even a month left, and we'll be going on our first adventure this year. We're going to go March 4th. We're going to go see Jim Croce's son perform all the Croce hits up at the Terrytown Music Hall in New York. So I will make sure that I bring my pillow and blankie for that, because I am not a Croce fan. As much as I am trying to love music, I can't. And then March 15th, we're going to go to Irving Music Hall in New York City to see Mod Sun. We saw him last year out on Pier 17. If you have not been to Pier 17 for a music show yet, you need to because it's all rooftop. They have a Grey Goose VIP lounge, and it is phenomenal. Yes, I just blocked out another curse word. Sorry, not sorry. Um, and you also have Matarazzo's Pizza and Subs down here. You've got Bernie Quick, sir. They have the best Texas wieners. And I'm not joshing the original Coney Island either, but they have the best Texas wieners. And tonight, but anyhow, so March 15th, we go to the the uh, Irving Plaza Center to see my son. But tonight, we are filming another taste this episode we we are going to margarita azul we are going to be doing the first ever facebook fan experience which i think you guys will enjoy so glenn and i have been picking fans at random out of our friends list that we're not as familiar with so if you're a regular you know if you know you know who you are, but we're picking fans at random and going out to eat to places we've never been. So tonight, we will be joined by one Mr. Christopher Jones and his friends Heather and Amber. They are going to be going with us to Margarita Azul in Wilkes-Barre, which serves Mexican. And I bet, and we've been to their sister restaurant. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. But we are going to have a link up really soon. If we don't already, it's over on our ko-fi.com page for Lucia and Glenn. We're already taking requests for karaoke, and we're also taking requests. Buddy, you better be making a left. We're already taking requests for the, um, what you call it, the taste this if he wants to go to a different restaurant. People don't know how to drive, man. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to make another request out there. Now, all the money that we ask you to donate before anybody goes out there and wants to ride my, like, a witch, um, we're raising it for charity. We are donating a portion of all the monies received to Griffin Pond because they took very good care of my Dixie and my – wait, I'm not parking here. No, yes, I am. Um, my Dixie and my Riff. Well, they didn't really take care of them, but we adopted Riff out of there. We adopted two more out of there. So we are forever indebted to them. All right, guys. So my time is up. If you saw this live, hooray for you. You're not getting a cookie because I don't know if I want to make this an after play or not. I haven't decided yet. I might not night, but shout out to everybody that tuned in, including... Mr. Brooke Miller, which we might have an adventure planned through his timeshare coming up in August. I don't know yet. We're working on that as we speak. Shout out to Bill Salerno of Brownie's Pizza, Jenna Weiss of My Canine Connection up in Lakeville, and to everybody else that's tuned in, including the famous Mr. Joseph Caviston of son Joe Caviston, who's famous for his emo nights. 
So you guys enjoy your weekend, enjoy your President's Day, and I will see you all next time. Same bad time?